once heavily criticized and often the focus of public concern, Neuralink is now one of the most talked about technologies linked to Elon Musk. Unlike Tesla or SpaceX, which are widely respected, Neuralink has faced pushback for its medical risks, ethical challenges, and potential privacy issues. The concept of putting a chip directly into the human brain still feels extreme to many. But over the past year, things have started changing fast. Neuralink has implanted its device in seven people, and the results have been shocking in a good way. Some former critics have even admitted that this technology could offer real hope to people with paralysis or who can no longer speak. Before we go deeper, can I ask something bold? If you're the kind of person who's still here watching this, you're not average. You're curious, ahead of the game, and probably thinking bigger than most people around you. So go ahead and subscribe to Amp Drive. Not for me, but for yourself. Because this channel is about the future, and you're clearly ready to be part of it. Let's grow this amazing community from 230 strong to something unstoppable. Now, back to Neuralink. When Elon Musk recently gave an update, it wasn't just numbers and progress it was a vision. He described a future where humans and machines merge, where the mind isn't limited by the body anymore. Musk said they are developing a brain-computer interface that works much faster than speaking or typing. While humans usually communicate at one bit per second, Neuralink aims for megabit speeds maybe even more. Their first product is called Telepathy, and it helps people who have lost control of their bodies use computers with just their brain. This chip, called the N1, allows users to move a mouse, type, or even design and play games without using their hands. But Musk's goals go further. Neuralink also wants to help the blind see again with a system called Blind Sight. This could allow people who were born blind or lost their eyes to experience vision through cameras and brain signals. They're also planning to help deaf people hear again and eventually let users control a Tesla Optimus robot with their minds. So who are these seven people with implants? As of June 2025, four have spinal cord injuries and three have ALS. They are part of the prime study at the Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix and the University of Miami. All implants are working, and some people are using the system for up to 100 hours a week. That's not just lab testing, that's daily life. The first patient, Noland Arba, became paralyzed after a diving accident. In January 2024, he received the Neuralink implant and broke a record with 9 bits per second of cursor control. He now plays games, studies math, writes, and works for hours using only his brain. Although there was an early issue where 85% of the chip's threads pulled back slightly, Neuralink quickly fixed it with software updates. Alex, the second participant, was a car tech before a car crash left him paralyzed. He used a quad stick to interact with computers before Neuralink, but it was slow. In July 2024, after receiving the implant, Alex broke a cursor control record just five minutes after activation. He now plays Counter-Strike using his brain to aim and the quad stick to move. On day two, he opened his old design software and created a 3D printed stand. He even wrote the word convoy using a robotic Armand. More recently, he controlled a real Optimus robotic hand, turning Musk's dream into a real test. Brad Smith, the third patient, has ALS and could only move his eyes and part of his mouth. He relied on Idaracking tech, which didn't work well under bright light. After his implant in late 2024, he started using a MacBook with his brain and even edited videos. In April 2025, he released a YouTube video using only his thoughts and AI to recreate his voice. Smith has regained a social life, chatting with neighbors, watching his son's robotics contests, and even speaking at his church. Mike, the fourth patient, used to work in city surveying. ALS forced him to stop working. But after getting the implant in February 2025, he returned to remote work using CAD software controlled by his mind. He's now the first Neuralink user to hold full-time employment, again showing that the tech can restore independence and purpose.
RJ, the fifth participant, is a U.S. military veteran who became paralyzed in a motorcycle crash. In April, he received his implant at the University of Miami. After just one day in the hospital, he was home using the implant. He can now play Call of Duty, turn on the TV, and control his photo with his thoughts. That's not just tech. Progress it's a piece of life being returned. While less is known about patients 6 and 7, Neuralink has confirmed that they too are successfully using the system in their daily routines. But Musk's vision isn't stopping here. Neuralink is preparing new trials for blindsight by early 2026. This will include a more advanced S2 chip that sends images from special glasses to the brain's visual cortex. The idea is to allow blind users to see the world again even if they were born blind. In the future, this may even expand to radar or infrared vision, but right now it will begin with basic low-res visuals. They've already scanned 50 human brains using high-level machines to understand how best to place these implants. But full vision restoration needs millions of data channels far more than the current chip can handle. The deeper implant also increases the risk of brain injury, so careful planning is essential. Another upcoming project will target speech. Neuralink plans to place implants into brain areas that process language. This would allow people with ALS or those recovering from strokes to speak agonby turning thoughts into words or synthetic speech. The challenge here is decoding natural language, which is far more complex than simple movement or selection tasks. One of the most surprising breakthroughs so far was when Alex used his brain to control a physical Tesla Optimus robot hand. He performed hand gestures, wrote, and even played games. That brings the dream of robotic integration one step closer to reality. Musk has said that a paralyzed person could one day wear an Optimus robot like a body walking, working, and even living through it. Neuralink's basic concept is simple. Electrodes in the brain read electrical signals. Those signals are sent to a processor that uses AI to decode the meaning whether it's moving a mouse, typing a word, or turning on a TV. The system then turns the decoded signal into action like speaking, moving a robotic hand, or triggering a smart home device. Tesla's Optimus robot, already capable of speech and basic interaction, may one day serve as the voice and limbs for people who can no longer move or speak. With Neuralink feeding data directly into Optimus, the robot could express thoughts, personality, and even mimic the user's tone becoming a true second body. Neuralink's report showed that users have spent more than 4,900 combined hours using telepathy with an average of six. Five hours of independent daily use last month alone. That's a huge signal that this is not just a lab tool that's becoming part of real life. None of the seven patients have reported serious health problems or implant breakdowns. Instead, they are gaining skills, working again, and relying less on their families. Neuralink is still accepting new participants in the U.S., especially those with ALS or spinal injuries. Trials are expanding to Canada and the UK as well. With tens of thousands of new paralysis cases each year, this technology could open doors for people stuck on the sidelines of the digital world. Beyond helping individuals, Neuralink might change how society sees disability. These people aren't helpless, they're creators, thinkers, gamers, and workers. They just needed the right tool to reconnect. And now, Thanks to Neuralink and the team behind it, they're doing exactly that. So if you've made it to the end of this video, you already know the truth this is more than a tech story. It's a human one. And here at Amp Drive, we'll keep showing you what's coming next. Hit that subscribe button and be part of the change.